sports. It's in the game. So here she is, Pate Estaca, Jessica Andrade. It was pretty amazing to see her put a capstone on this UFC career and beat Rose Namajunas to win the title at UFC 237. She's a real problem here at 115 pounds. She's a real problem, John. And she became a problem when she went down to 115. You saw immediately that the power and the cardio and the pressure and the ability to hurt people in a division where most... You ready to fight? Ready. All right, early round action is upon us, and what else can be said about the career of one Jessica Andrade? Wins in three different weight classes, a promoter's dream. And stylistically, she is about as fun to watch as any fighter in the women's game at present. As far as this matchup goes, power was the buzzword coming out of here. Oh, great block there. On Josh's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, nice hook. All right, early round action here in Zhang Wei Li, not wasting any time finding a home for that right hand. A beautiful right hand. You know, we saw this in the Jessica Andrade fight, her title-winning performance, where she overwhelmed her with that shot that put her out. Zhang Weili is a tremendous athlete, and when she explodes into this punch, she is as good as they come. Oh, is that a huge overhand? How is she upright? And everything's landing so much. Single collar tie. And now a little space between the two fighters. Big right hook attempt, but she misses. Oh, what a kick. Well, she said in these situations she had to protect her head, and defensively, she has done an outstanding job of that. She could pick double leg level change. Getting work here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. Nice ground strikes landed by her from top position now. Nice body shot. Under three minutes to go in round one. Both fighters hanging down. to a storyline developing. You see a cut has been opened around her eye. She's got a cut on her eye. She's been getting hit in that same spot. The cut's nothing too big right now. But if she doesn't protect it, it'll get a lot worse. Well, her striking has been great tonight. Rocked her opponent pretty significantly, but you gotta think there's a little bit of disappointment that she wasn't able to get the She should be disappointed that she didn't finish the fight. This would look like it was over. If she gets this opportunity again, all out to try to finish the fight. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you got to find 
of times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you gotta get out to space. Find places to rest and recover. Get against the octagon. Go to the clinch. Find ways to just recover so that when you have that next explosion, it actually has some meaning to it. Well, you could argue this is as good as she has looked on the feet, and she continues to target that facial region. A lot of swelling now. I'm one of those guys that will make an overstatement. I will... Oh, push the side of there. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. Still. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive head kick. Oh, huge left. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Total strikes which have landed for Wei Li Zhang. All right, so some adversity for her here. Looks like she has been opened up around that eye. Anything worth having will not be easy. But she's got to protect that cut because it will get worse if she continues to get hit on Oh, a huge connection fire there. Massive shot lands. How she going to try to find a big shot there if she fight. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, big left hand there. All right, so that body continues to get ripped up. The judges are looking for damage and damage. You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? Oh! Oh, my goodness! Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss. All right, champ, I'm not a doctor, but she has absorbed so much damage to that facial region. Might even have a fracture of some kind. Yeah, it seems like something's broken in there. You don't swell that much unless something really bad has happened in the fight. She's been beat up thoroughly. Well, they haven't called for the doctor yet, but she is swollen. Doesn't look at all like the woman who walked out here a couple hours ago. Yeah, she got beat up in that round. She took far too many shots right on the target. She has got to do something different Ready, on the defensive side, Ready. or this fight is not going to go more. All right, here we go with round two. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got rocked. I don't think the scorecards are going to be needed for this one. No, the scorecards will not be needed. If we continue to... Head back there, this could be the end. She landed a massive uppercut that hurt her opponent very, very badly. Well, she felt like the uppercut was going to be there. It has absolutely been there. No reason to think she won't get back to it here. No, she's going to go back to that position. She has to. She can go for the clinch. She can do it off of her combination. She just has a... Variety of ways of landing that punch. Andrade's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Let's go. Use your Effective jab there by Sean. 
Well, we sat down with her on Thursday. She said it's all coming together, and she has put on a striking clip. Oh, no. Back to the feet now. She's going to go hard in the paint and go for a finish here. I'm just not sure why she is backing off the pedal a little bit. I don't know why she isn't committing herself to finishing this fight. She has done a great job of setting up the attacks that hurt her opponent. She does not have been able to put her out completely. I want to see what she will change to ultimately in the night. All right, well, you can argue at this stage of the fight, she is too tough for her own good. Her eye is unrecognizable. I mean, she doesn't even look like the same fighter that she walked into the octagon as. She got cut very early, and has just been an accumulation of damage that has put this eye in this position. Unfortunate, but this fight may be stopped very soon. All right, the referee is going to step in here, and he has momentarily halted the action. He will call on the doctor. We'll see if... He ends up stopping this fight due to that cut she's doing. With. Well, you could see it, right? You could see from the damage. You could see from her reactions to the cut that we would have to get, make a decision and not her decision. Look. Yeah, there's the end of the fight. I'm no doctor, but you had to stop the fight. Fans don't like it, but she shouldn't be allowed to fight through that moment. The cut was too bad. Great decision by the doc. The official decision is in. Here is the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC strongweight champion of the world, John Magnum Wayley. All right, so congratulations to the still UFC strawweight champion of the world, and I am glad my daughters don't fight at 115 pounds. I mean, she is a savage. She understands what life means.